All right. So welcome everybody. It is Monday night. Uh, that could be a good evening, good afternoon, uh, good morning to wherever you are in the world. Uh, my name is Creel Hutchinson. I'm going to be hosting the uh, webinar this evening. Our good buddy Wade Lightheart is um, out there in the world doing what he does best, which is um, providing massive value in serving um, his uh, fellow distributors and other businesses. So I'm super happy to be here with you. It's been a little while, it feels. Um, I hope everybody in uh, Facebook land is working too on the live stream. Um, if not, um, who knows? <laughs> you learn as you go. So um, super glad. I also uh, wanted to give a big shout out to uh, the people who show up live for this. We love that and, and the interaction. We're going to have some Q&A at the end. Um, and I also want to really appreciate all the people that spend the time to watch this, uh, these recordings. And we know there's a lot of you and we get great feedback. So we really uh, do appreciate hearing that uh, what we're doing on Monday nights um, serves uh, many um, not just a few who show up live, but um, it's a ripple effect out into the world and to uh, an adjunct distributors on, on all across teams, which is super exciting. So I'm going to just share the screen and uh, get us set up here. Give me one moment. Kind of feels like my first, first time, which it's not, um, but... You'll see from my topic this evening, uh, the, the keys to uh, successful business, you don't have to know everything from day one. You just can figure it out as you go. So uh, let's move into this. Okay, fantastic. And so I trust that it all shows up and you guys are able to see the screen. And uh, the topic for the evening is three secrets for business success. And let's jump into it. So absolutely number one reason is a mindset. Um, and you're gonna see through these three steps, they kind of make a lot of sense, but when you have them broken down into um, an evening like this, it kind of really, captures it. So you got to know your why. Why are you showing up into your business? Why are you here? Um, what are you wanting to do? Um, it's amazing how when we're unconscious, you know, so not bringing awareness to what we do in life, we end up um, participating in relationships, groups, projects, businesses, and we're not even sure why we're there. And you can be caught there for uh, weeks, months, years, and you realize, oh, this isn't even a fit for who I am. The people who do the best and have the greatest success um, in an adjic, and I believe in any uh, project, organization, relationship, marriage, whatever you do, is to get really clear on your mindset and basically what's your why? Why are you there? You know, because at the end of the day, there's going to be challenges with everything we do. But if we're really committed at a core level and there's an emotional attachment to that, we can move through the challenges of life and move through the ups and downs, move through the um, difficulties that will come um, in growing a business. So super key is people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. People are not joining your business to sell Kangen water machines as we're focusing on this. Right? That's not what people are, are getting excited about. People are getting excited about the why that you present them. You know, so for me, my passion is helping people, empowering people um, with their health and also designing a life that empowers them to the ultimate freedom. That's a very different why than my what being like, oh, and we make a transaction and you end up with a common water machine, which will change your life. That's the what, but the why is what can incite and get people passionate, excited. So. The people who have succeeded the best, the most in this business have very compelling whys. It's basically like you're on a mission. Rather than you're in a business trying to sell something, you're on a mission to transform either a sector, a business, a culture, a demographics, a whole area, a region, that there is something driving you at a much bigger level than just what we do here. Right? And when you have something like a mission, that mission becomes a very attractive for other people to want to get involved because they're not joining your mission. 
your mission is big enough that it contains and allows everybody to feel connected to it, that your why or the mission allows them to light up inside and it connects to their why. So people will join a leader's business that has a very big mission, but they're not joining it for the person. They're joining it because the mission that the leader is spearheading into the world, their big why encapsulates and invites so many other people to connect to their own why and mutually join it. So from day one, it's like the big thinkers, the mindset, how you show up into this business is absolutely going to determine your success. The other two secrets we're going to talk about are completely secondary um, to this, right? Uh, people get attracted to people that they like, they trust, that inspire them, that entertain them. Um, and we love to hang out with positive people, motivated people, ambitious people. Right, because we see that, hey, if I connect with this person, the likelihood of me getting some level of success goes way up versus someone who does not have that passion. So thinking big as a leader really from day one. Getting into this business, if you're looking at this from, you know, from day one, is really to come forward and being like, what is my bigger purpose? What am I truly serving here beyond myself? And it's usually a few levels deep in our personal inquiry of what is motivating us to participate in this business. And when you figure that out, that's your golden nugget. That's what you share with the world. That's what inspires people. And we just happen to have a vehicle, which is, you know, Kung and water and magic, but people will be buying you first, right? So the mindset absolutely from day one has to be the key and the center of motivation moving forward. Now, the cool thing with um, network marketing and Enagic in particular is you can have varying whys. Some people are mission driven. Some people are commission driven. Some people are technology driven. Some people are, it's, it's a more of a family experience. You know, there's a, a sense of freedom that they want to accomplish. Some people are really wanting to help a specific group. Whatever that why is, you are going to reach out into the world and connect with other people that are connected to that same why. So within the mindset, there needs to be goals, commitment, integrity, hard work, and obviously performance. And what I mean by that is you need to be able to track yourself along the way. Your why, my personal why after eight years have changed, but what I have found that never changed was me tracking where I was at and what was working, what wasn't working. And if I was feeling uninspired, it was like changing the mindset. So you can completely, you can keep reinventing yourself along the way, but you want to keep monitoring where, where is growth happening and where am I slipping down, right? So something needs to change. So I think your mindset can be linked to the performance, the hard work. So that's secret number one. Why do you do what you do? And when you're clear in that, that's what you're selling to the world, okay? Number two is skills and resources. Now, every job, project, or position requires a certain skill set and access to complementary resources to maximize those results. So if you decide to get into any organization, they're going to have basically a, a criteria of what your position is, what you need to do to maximize that, and they're going to give you resources that will help you move forward. Now, in our business, we also provide the same thing. There is a, a, a particular skill set that's required that if you um, get competent at it, you can do very well in this business. If you do not get competent at that skill set, you will struggle, right? Along with the training, there's resources that we've created at the PH Alliance, also in my uh, personal group, the Living Hydration uh, Leadership Team. We have provided um, a step-by-step -step processes that allow people to walk through that. Here's what I've noticed for success. The people who do really well are the people that take the time to study the, res to study the uh, getting started formula, to show up for the training, to walk through the recommended readings, uh, webinars, uh, and start to learn those skills from day one. 
right? Some people are fortunate that they come into this business already having some of these resources and skills from other experiences, which is fantastic. They're a little farther ahead, but that doesn't stop anyone from being able to access these. Did you know it costs, it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert on a particular topic, but it only takes 20 hours to be competent. In this business, if you get competent at the number one skill, which is inviting people, you can grow a very nice business here. What I have noticed is a lot of people who declare that they're getting into business and being a distributor with us don't spend even 20 hours taking this life change of a lifetime opportunity seriously. So the secret is do the work. Commit to the skills, commit to the resources, commit to your personal training program, right? Successful people learn the skills and access the resources they need to fulfill the mission. Get clear on your mission. Start to learn the skills and resources to maximize your results on your mission, right? We have step-by-step -step training. If you're a PH Alliance, all you have to do is sign up for the free training. We have 24 emails over a 72-day period, which is fantastic. Um, and then there's also resources by Eric Worry, Facebook groups, YouTube University. That's how I refer to it. There's so much great information on YouTube um, by the PH Alliance, what we've been doing for Monday nights for the last couple of years, but you also have other groups. So there is a ton of information that's going to speak to your type of personality, right? So you can get basically direct mentorship and influence from key people that you resonate with through accessing the training systems and taking advantage of all the social media activity, right? The people who do that continue to learn the skills, continue to get connected to the resources, and they start to grow fantastic businesses, right? The key is to get organized, get prepared, and always be learning. The mission, your mission in this business, needs to be associated with the skills and resources. And in you growing as a leader, that will stretch you in your personal development, which is all accessible in this uh, community and in this business within Magic. So the skills and resources, that's secret number two. Start learning and start accessing them. Secret number three, action. This is where the road, you know, the, the rubber really hits the road. Um, and a lot of people can um, never get to this step. And there's a difference between thinking you're taking action and taking true action. So um, this is about you sharing your mission to the world. Notice I didn't say sharing water machines to the world. That is not all that exciting. And the people who I've seen try to do that, have a frustrating time. More so, you're on a mission. You're gonna transform people's lives with their health or you're gonna transform people's dreams, right? You're gonna provide a solution that will be the best um, decision they ever made in their entire life. That's the energy, that's the passion that we're wanting to share with the world, right? And that's going to resonate and inspire people to check, follow you. What are you up to? Let me take a look at this. Yes, lean into your mission in the world. The bigger the action, the bigger the impact. Absolutely clear. And really it starts with your mindset. How many people do you want to influence? You want to get to 6A and influence 100 people? You want to get to the bigger ranks and influence 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million people? Your mindset from day one decides the goal that you're moving towards, right? And so I would suggest we don't, think big enough from day one, and our action is not enough to get the results that we're looking for, right? So you, whatever you think you need to do, you need to 10 exit and, and, and keep going. So the bigger the action, the bigger the impact. Key to this action is promoting yourself, your story, and your lifestyle, right? Notice I didn't say in Agic, in Kangen Water. That will be part of it, it will, it will weave itself in there, but you're not necessarily promoting on behalf of the company. You're promoting yourself and what you're excited about, what you're passionate about, and helping people clean water and all the, the environmental impact, the health impacts, um, entrepreneurialism, working from home, being an online mentor, um, leveraging social media, all of these things, and you happen to work with Enagic. So... Promote yourself. I think this is really key. The people who do this and get their story and their mission 
and start to show people their lifestyle, that's what people want. People want to surround themselves and make decisions that will get them a certain type of results. You can start to um, display and show and promote that type of lifestyle and those results, right? And that can be very captivating for people. So um, at the end of the day, the action step, the key action step here needs to be, you need to invite people to review the product and the business. Now, Generally, at the beginning, when you're establishing your mindset, there's going to be two different things. One is like, I really want to help a lot of people with their health. I really want to help a lot of people with their wealth, right? Um, I believe that it's important to merge those and realize at the end of the day, you're probably going to help a lot more people with their health by helping people with their wealth first, because that tends to be what stops people. So in the action, you want to invite people to look at a life-changing business opportunity and a life-changing water technology. They're, they are encompassed in the same thing when you promote and dialogue and, and put it out there naturally. Obviously, there'll be some people that are just be, you know, you're looking for a, as customers and other people will be really focused. You want to focus on the business because they get the health side part of it. So I want to encourage you, if you're looking for secrets, do both from day one. I know for myself in the beginning, I was a little uncomfortable with the business. So I focused more on the water, which was great. I helped a lot of people, but it slowed down my overall business growth, which I needed to catch up with. So I recommend to you do both from day one and get comfortable with doing both. The only reason people wouldn't recommend one aspect of the business like the business is because you're uncomfortable with an aspect of it. I say deal with it, get over your own objections, get out of your own way own way so that you're able then to represent the entirety of this opportunity effectively. I think that probably makes sense, right? You know, the way to really establish and make an impact here is to have lots of great business builders that are independent and self-motivated. Right? So here is one of the major keys when it comes to action. Learn to do the demo yourself. Right? You will control your growth of your business, your teams, and your dreams. What do I mean by this? When I got into this business eight years ago, the key, what Wei told me was, the people who impact the most amount and make the most will be the ones standing at the front of the room doing the demo. And he said, so you have to learn to do the demo. So from day one, when I, when I had my why, I realized, oh, I need to learn to do this step as quickly as possible. Everybody who, pretty much everyone I know who is, yeah, a 6A or 5A, 4A, they know how to do a presentation. It's a different looking presentation for all of them. Some of them do the drops, the ORP. Some people don't even know how to do that, but they're doing a presentation. They're comfortable presenting in front of one person or a group of people, and they're getting their teammates to invite others to that. So they do one-on-one -on -one presentations, traveling around, um, or organize events. We, we know the deal. There's a full range of activity that can happen here. The moment you feel comfortable doing it yourself is the moment you take control of your business. And you can be unstoppable here. So you can do online presentations, you can focus on the business, you can focus on the water, whatever you need to do. But that is a key deciding factor, right? From day one, realize you can do the demo, you can grow a big business here because you're gonna be in control of it. So that needs to be a, a primary action that we focus on, right? And then of course there's duplication. So the action here is to, uh, when you get motivated people that you've connected with who are saying yes to their wise, you wanna make sure to take the time to get them connected to all the skills and resources that we have available. The resources will teach the skills, right? You wanna drop into them and make sure that you understand what is motivating them so that you can remind them of that, right? And that your sponsor will remind you when things get tough, hey, you remember why you're doing this? Has that changed? Has your priority shifted in your life? Or have you found something better that's replacing this opportunity to, for you to reach that big why, that big mission? We want to be able to duplicate that by mentoring that same level of passion and importance to the new people that join our business. Right? So the three factors, but there's one important X factor. Learn to give the presentation. Now, I just spoke a whole bunch about it, but I wanted to bring it up even one more time. This is how important it is. And 
I know we get nervous and scared. If you just brought a, a person, a new person into the business, you said, all you need to do is learn how to do the demo. If the person learned to do the demo, everything else would fall into place as a result of them learning to do the demo. It, it, it's, a, it's amazing what happens. They would move through their being scared. Um, they would be confident. You'd show them exactly what they need to do. They'd watch a whole bunch of videos that, and, and learn to do it. They'd start inviting people to check it out. They'd feel confident. Everything would move forward. This is the X factor, everybody. If you can learn to do the demo, you learn to grow this business. Right? Everything else will fall into place. If you're doing the business and you're too scared to do the demo, that's one-on-one -on -one presentations or maybe to a group or having people over to your place or going somewhere, asking a new distributor to like set up a, you know, invite some of their friends and family over so that you can present to them. Whatever your presentation can look like. Sometimes I've even done it online like we're doing now with, uh, I play videos and I have slides and that's how I present it. But you need to be the one saying the words, presenting yourself as the leader and showing others how the business grows. If you can do that, you can grow it, right? And if you can't, here's the limiting factor. You're always going to be waiting for somebody else to do the demo for you, right? And in the inviting formula, we teach people, you know, send people to the presentation. Well, that, that's a, a method of being able to do the demo and that will get you far. But if you're able to then do it yourself, invite people over, come over for a cup of tea. Let me show you this technology. And we 45 minute chat in your kitchen. That's what I do. I present it to someone, show them all the bells and whistles, have a great connection with them. It becomes fun and easy. Empower yourself from day one. Realize, you know what? My goal here, if I got one goal getting into the business, the goal is to be able to learn to do the demo as quickly as possible. Hopefully that's by about 4A, you know, 20 sales. If you're now competent and you're up to speed and you're able to do that for yourself. So that's the X factor. Let's review the three secrets to growing a successful business. You know, I think these are probably in general, but with an adjective especially. Number one, your mindset. You got to get clear on why you do things. Ultimately, this is about personal development. It's about clarity. It's about commitment. It's about goals. It's about the integrity of who you are in your life and how you show up. Are you really showing up in this business or are you just passing through? Because people who pass through don't get a lot of people really showing up in their business with them. They get people who are passing through. If you're taking a stand and declaring, this is where I want to build a business. This is why I'm doing this. You will have a different ripple effect out in the world. So don't underestimate the power of why. And remember, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. So get clear on that. Number two, the skills and the resources. We have attempted over the past years to provide as many resources as possible to our community um, so that you can start to learn the skills. And we set the expectation from day one when you join the business is you've got to allocate time and energy into your training and your studying. The faster you move through that, the more competent you will be and the more committed most likely, but the more um, excited about sharing this with other people. So it's really important to not underestimate the skills and resources and that commitment. You know, it's like if you went to school, you're expected to put in school study hours. Well, at first you got to treat this like a job. When the job, you go to a job, if you don't show up for the job, you get fired. Well, an adjective when you get started, treat it like a job. You have to put in so many hours a week. When you do it that way, eventually the job turns into a business and it will pay you like a business, but you got to treat it like a job to get going first. You got to blast off. So that's number two, the skills and the resources. And number three is you got to put the mindset, the skills, the resources into action. Now from seven and a half years in this business, I have seen some people do really great at one and two, but they for some reason, they're not able to transform that into the action required to get things moving. You know? And I have seen, honestly, people who are vague in one and two and take radical amounts of action, that will work for a certain amount of time and usually it gets them far enough that all of a sudden they go back and figure out the mindset and the skills, right? Because they want to they improve their results. They're getting results, but they're also getting a lot of failure because they had a greater skill level um, and a better mindset 
there would be better results. So this action step really needs to be part of it. And I'll be honest with you, taking the action means you're going to stretch yourself beyond your comfort zone and you're going to do things that are scary. And it's awesome. All the leaders that you see, all the people that you look towards and be like, well, I want to grow a business like that. Or I see something in that person that inspires me. Realize that they were just like you. They started as a 1A in this business and they were just slow and dedicated to their progress and they overcame their fears consistently. I now know that if something scares me, that's what I need to focus on in my business, right? And I can look back at things that were scary for me and I it just got I just kept doing it and now it's it's not a big deal right I moved on so the same thing if you if you want to grow a great business here and really impact thousands and thousands of people you're going to have to move through your fear which is exciting and become a better version of yourself which is thrilling right and then you'll get to share that with the world and we're all ready and excited to be part of that with you so those are the three secrets the mindset you got to learn the, you got to access the resources to learn the skills, and then you got to take action with it. And I'll leave you guys with this. You know, we're going to do some Q and A. So if you've got any questions or comments, you know, put, pop in the chat window. You are 100% capable of doing this and achieving the greatest success in this business. The question is, will you? We all have the exact same opportunity here. Now, of course, some of us come with previous experience. Maybe we've been in organ other organizations, other businesses, you know, whatever it might be. We got a great story, whatever. But we all start as 1As in this business. And we have the opportunity to share your story. I don't go around sharing everyone else's stories. I share my story because it's unique to me. And it's going to be unique to everybody that joins this business. So we are all 100% capable of reaching the highest levels of success here. Right? Some of us will have to work more on the mindset. Some of us will have to work more on accessing the resources to develop the skills. Some of us, we are going to have to take more action than others based on who we can influence in the world. But it all comes down to those three key areas, and we're all capable of doing it. The question is, will, it, will you? And only you can answer that question. Because in the heart of hearts, on you know when you get real and, and truthful with yourself the limitations that we set is what will determine our success here and if you're willing to continuously overcome those and move through that fear you can do great things here with imagine so everybody uh i am going to i'm going to um open up the chat um we got some people on the line if you want to mute it i'm not sure how um things went on um facebook i think uh looks like we got some people on so that's great um and we're going to open it up for some q a everybody so the chat window is open and go from it and we'll also on facebook if you guys got any questions out there uh, thanks, Kelly, for jumping on. Um, we've got a few other people. Yes, Kelly, you can be totally cheeky and uh, jump in this from other teams. So once again, the PH Alliance, um, the Prosperity and Health Alliance, uh, Wade and myself and Seha, when we created this, we created this as a resource for our teams, but we realized that there was also a lot of people in this wonderful community. We kept meeting great people on all the events that we wanted to provide an open platform, uh, which many organizations don't. They like to keep their secrets and their training to themselves. We just felt like if we can provide massive value to as many people as possible, that will be the best for all ships rising in the ocean. So, um, Always feel free if you're on our team directly and working with us or on another organization, you're always welcome to access everything we do and share it with anyone in your own team because that's the style we have here. So you guys, if you got any um, questions um, via the website or um, Zoom, please pop it in there. Um, otherwise, I was planning just to keep a nice quick 30 minute presentation um, so that um, 
Bernadette, question from Bernadette. Um, used to do live in-person presentation and it was always an honor to be upfront presenting. And yes, definitely we're seen as a leader. I think this is almost one of the, the key things, Bernadette, that you uh, point on. When you're at the front of the room, people realize you're the leader. And the front of the room could be like three or four people in the room. You know, it's, it slowly grows, but when you, you identify yourself as that person, you're the one to work with, right? All of a sudden, you're different, you're special. And people want to work with that because they're looking to achieve their dreams and they realize that the opportunity to get set up and to become most successful is working with the key people. And so getting to the front of the room is the way to do it. Yeah, and I think there's a healthy competition when you, you know, decide to like, you know, in your group and your team, who's going to do it, you know, and move forward. Great. Thank you for your input. Um, if there's any other questions or comments, guys, um, otherwise, I'm checking Facebook there. Uh, hi, Trish. Trudy says, uh, I'm just starting, not many in my area. I need to take the lead. Scary. Yes, Trish, uh, Trudy, um, and what an opportunity. You know, when you're, there's no one in the area, that means you have the potential. The mindset can be, I'm gonna dominate my area. You know, I'm going to be known when people mention Kungan Water or home-based businesses, they're gonna think of you because you're the one who's gonna be the pioneer in that industry or area. Scary, but also exciting, right? And you can present that storyline to people of suggesting, hey, you know what? Nobody knows about this opportunity in this area. I'm one of the first people in with this company and I'm looking to put together a team that wants to do something really special in this area. You know, that's the storyline, right? Use your disadvantages as strengths, right? There's a great story of empowerment that comes through where we perceive our areas of weaknesses. So um, you can do it. All right, everybody. Uh, there's no more questions, no more comments. Um, I want to thank you for once again uh, participating with us here. Um, I believe Wade is going to be back next week. Um, although, no, actually, next week will be the first Monday of the month. So that's going to be Danny D. McCauley's Kungan One um, team webinar, which happens at 6 p.m. Um, from the California area. Um, and great to also access. And then we'll, Wade will be back in two weeks. So uh, until then, um, we will repost all of this on our YouTube site and on the Facebook page. Uh, we love you guys. We want to wish you the absolute very best in your businesses um, from coast to coast and around the world. And um, yeah, remember the, mi the mission. The commission will come as a result of your mission, right? Uh, really commit to why you do it and tell the world that and inspire people to come along with you for the ride. Um, because a magic's a great opportunity, but it needs you and your why to really fulfill the business. So we wanna thank you from the PH Alliance, myself and from uh, Vancouver. Have a wonderful evening wherever you are and an excellent day. We'll see you um, in a couple weeks. Bye everybody. <laughs>